All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, last break of the night. Allen and Ginter, four box break number five. All right, guys, we got eight boxes left in the case. Uh, we still got the hot, the uh, hot box live in the case. Uh, we hit one rip card in the first four boxes. So it should be another rip card. If we get lucky, we hit like four in the first case. But I think it's like two on average. Only hit one auto, so there should be some ink left in the case. I think you get like six autos on average in the case. Something like that. Everything's on average, so you never know. All right, guys, the right side and the middle. All right, let's do some nice Friday night magic here. Last break. Good luck, guys. I'll get in the chat in one sec. Okay, so we're going to roll a dice. Odd will do the left side, which is the middle. And even will do the right side. All right, welcome back, Philip. What's up, Pink Floyd? All right, we got. All right, we got a one, so we'll do the left side. Yeah, now you can see that better. All right, guys, so the middle four boxes, hopefully, a good four here. All right, here are your teams. All right, and we got the non-baseball spot on the bottom, or just any card without a team, which is a lot of stuff, monsters and farm stuff, buildings. There's even a couple of football players. Uh, we hit the Bucky Lassic uh, the first night. You were there for that, right? Nice one. It was numbered to 25, I think, right? Like a numbered one. All right. Good luck, Sean. Good luck, Brian. Good luck, everybody. All right. So three hits on average per box. Uh, look for any three of these cards. Autograph, relic, rip cards, printing plates, book cards. All right, our first jumbo. All right, we got Acuna for the Braves. All right, NZ Kiwi, congrats. Nice start. All right, let's find that hot box. And in the past, a lot of the hot boxes have uh, had some really nice hits in them also. So you get the foil cards plus a good chance at some, you know, rare hits. Okay, no hot box. All right, we got a Mike Schmidt mini. All right, thank you, Ander. All 
All right, just Allen and Ginter uh, crack the code promotion card. All right, nine ways to first base on balls. Nico Horner, debut to remember. Yeah, it should have. Uh, I started breaking in 2017. It, all those videos should be on eBay. If you type in like Nick Snacks, Allen and Ginter, 2017, 2018, 2019, they should all pop up. Check out my uh, dinosaur tooth that we pulled. Not my dinosaur tooth. That was an awesome hit. Marcus Semien, Black Border. Yeah, I got a lot of funky dice. Zach got me the 30-sided dice, which comes in handy a lot, actually. All right, Austin Riley Mini. Yeah, or a rip card. I, they should uh, advertise the rip card on the box somewhere. I think they do. Right, Matt Olson. A and G back. Hopefully we hit the uh, red Brooklyn back. It'll be red and hand number to 25. There's usually one of those in every case. Alright, where monsters live, sewer drain, glow in the dark mini. These look nice, the long boar lore. There's a cunha. Yeah, we hit a Cal Ripken uh, token card last case. That's probably like a $300 card. A lot of those sold for two, three, th even more than 300. Bucky Lassick. All right, Gene Segura, Jersey Relic. All right, Phillies. Uh, BR Dan, congrats. Phillies hit the rip card last break. As Conforto had a monster year with the Mets. Yeah, Conforto had like an MVP type season. They were just a short season, so a lot of guys really killed it. You'll notice in a full season, uh, there's a lot of those guys who just kill it for like half the year, and then it evens out. They didn't have that evening out this year. Uh, could tell Marte Mini. World Trade Center. All right, Brooks Robinson, A and G back. Uh, digging deep, lots of minerals and stuff, gems. There's pyrite. I think that's fool's gold. Yep. And you could actually get like a fool's gold uh, relic in this set too. Which is worth more than regular Fool's Gold because it's like a tougher hit to pull. All 
Right, Charlie Blackman, Black Border. These are one in every 10 packs. The A and G backs are one in every five packs. All right, Colton Wong for the Cardinals. Nice, they've shown some love for the catchers, the uh, field generals insert. Perez was a beast man in that World Series against the Mets like five years ago. All right, Weaver, Earl Weaver, Orioles. Animated, choo, choo, choo. famous for his love of sturdy starting pitchers and the three-run homer. Yeah, a lot of reading material on these cards if you enjoy reading the cards. All right, Citadels and Safe Holds. Uh, Prague Castle. Yeah, cool. Those should be going up, uh, Ryan. I could see him just from now on just being a great player. I think he's past that stage where you know he's still learning and struggling yeah he's ready to rock alfaro and we got a frame good luck all right pedro martinez mini frame jersey relic for the red sox optimus prime congrats great checklist on the mini frames always great players And every year it seems like Red Sox have a bunch. Bananas. Reality show champion. Oh, Jose Ramirez. A and G back. Yeah, Girardi's uh, on the checklist for that. All right. Glow in the dark, the closet. Benito Santiago, he was fun. Had the weird uh, catching stance. Stand the Man Mini, A and G back. All right, another one for the Red Sox. Eduardo Rodriguez, Jersey Relic. It's turned into a great pitcher. Ryan Nyquist, BMX extraordinaire. Yasmani. All right, Optimus Prime, congrats. Is another one. Gavin Lux. All right, Booming Cities. All 
All right, Musin on the checklist. Uh, Cal Ripken Jr. Mini. Yeah, they got the cow, the pig, the dog. Yeah, I was reading the back of the pig there, giving you some facts about bacon. All right, Black Border, Burn. Uh, Steve Byrne, actor and comedian. Ooh, is that another frame? Ooh, another frame. Wow, we got a bonus hit coming. Good luck. I'll take a bonus. Yeah, we already got our three hits. Wasn't expecting this. Been a lot of surprises in Ginter uh, early on here. Do the first case and a half. AJ Puck Mini. All right, good luck, guys. We got... Oh, printing plate. That's why. Very nice. Duke Snyder, Brooklyn Dodgers. One of one. That's awesome. Mini printing plate. All right. That counts as one of the hits also. It says three... Three of uh, printing plate, relic, auto, book cards. Wow, so four hit box with a one of one. Very nice. BR Dan with the Dodgers. All right, nice, Brian. Yep, that's the black one. Usually there's like black, magenta, yellow. There's like four or five different colors. Yep, that's the black one of one. All right, sick. Nicer than your average printing plates. Nicely framed, nice and clean. And Duke Snyder, not a bad one to get. Tommy Lasorda, the dog, man's best friend. Carabas. All right, Giancarlo Stanton Mini, A and G back. And Posada. All right, guys, box two. All right, nice, Brian. Congrats, man. That's sweet. All right, N43. These are the rare box toppers. We've hit some nice autos in the past on these. Minnesota Twins, Jose Berrios, N43 box topper. All right, congrats. Uh, one, one the time, congrats. One the time. We got a 50% chance at hitting the hot box because we didn't hit it in the first uh, break. 
first break you got a 33 percent chance and it goes up all right no hot box yet all right new york mets jeff mcneil all right, Cascade Red. There you go, Ryan. Nice McNeil jersey. Great player for the Mets. Jim Tome Mini. Yep. All the base cards uh, are like a foil, like a silver foil in the hot box. Charlie Blackman. All right, Thune, A and G back. Nick Thune, actor and comedian. Yeah, this is cool. This tower, the Petronas Tower. It's got like a bridge that leads you from one building to the next. That's really cool. And the bridge is, yeah, pretty high up. You got to be on the... 41st floor. All right. What's up, Nick, with the C? Oh, there you are. I see you now. Uh, Mike Schmidt Mini. A and G back. The horse. And what's up, Trey? Yeah, it was a one of one Duke Snyder uh, printing plate. Right, Xander Bogarts. Your Alvarez rookie. Blake Snell Mini. Right, Kerry Wood. Uh, short print card, 339. Where monsters live, the ocean glow in the dark. All right, we got J Hat, New York Yankees, Jersey Relic. BR Dam with the Yanks. And a Glaber Torres Mini. Moises Alu, that's a short print. Short prints are one in every like two packs. 
but they're numbered over 300. All right, Chipper Jones. Jose Abreu, A and G back. <clears throat> yeah, I think most teams have uh, some big hit potential here. Like the tokens and the rip cards. I think they loaded up the checklist on all those. Especially with all the uh, the legends on the checklist also. Then they have the cloth cards. We haven't pulled one of those yet. See Catfish Hunter with the A's. That's a short print. All right, Tattoo Artist Teft, Black Border. A Bale of Hay. Oh, Shanghai. Clayton Kershaw. Oh, lestella has been good for you guys. There's Lestella. Did he get traded to the Athletics? All right. Mazeroski. Pirates legend. A&G back. Short print two. Card 305 with the A&G back. Austin Riley, A and G back. No, they made them. They're just tough to hit, like the really thick minerals and stuff. One in every like 20 cases or something. All right, Doc Emmerich. All right, Citadels and Safe Holds. Uh, Muru Janjira. That looks cool. Abraj Al Bait Clock Tower. Tolis building in Saudi Arabia. That's what that is. Oh, for Mateo and Barreto. Mateo, uh, he's been in the minors like five years. Right, really speedy. Wasn't he getting better too? All right, we got a frame coming up. Good luck. All right, Chris Bryant Mini. All right, behind Hira. All right, Big Poppy Bat Relic. All right, yeah, Red Sox. I remember last year they were loaded on the uh, framed relics. Optimus Prime, congrats. You got the framed uh, Pedro. Now there's Big Poppy. That's a nice little collection. Boom, break the curse.
And they got Mo Vaughn on the checklist too. Kind of looks like Big Poppy a little. Colton Wong, A and G back. All right, monsters under the bed, glow in the dark. All right, Jackie Bradley. Crack the code. Oh, uh, nine ways to first. Fielder interference. Oh, Paul Molitor, nice black border. And they got him with the Blue Jays in this set. Is that Kelsey Cook, professional foosball player and a comedian? Big Poppy. That's got to be pretty tough, man, playing professional foosball. Next box topper. All right, New York Mets, Pete Alonzo. All right, there you go, Ryan. Polar Bear. Not a hot box. We still got one more shot. Be a nice way to end Friday night. All right, Matt Carpenter, game used. Looks a little dirty. Oh, we got a mini there. Oh, Gavin Lux. Very nice. Gavin Lux rookie card. Oh, uh, St. Louis. With the nice dirty jersey. Oh, uh, all play sports, congrats. It's nice game used when you see like a little dirt on it. All 
right, Safari Sites, The Gazelle. A lot of these have been really off-centered. Unless that's how it's supposed to be. And Burj Khalifa. Well, yeah, the trick is to keep the mini card intact. Don't let it, like, fly out. Yeah, if you're not careful, you could fly out, thing a corner. All right, another glow in the dark. Uh, sewer drain, monsters in the sewer drain. All right, J.K. Dobbins mini. Nice one for the non-baseball spot. All right, big pick for the Ravens. Crack the code. All right, Jack Morris, Black Border. And that's a short print. So Black Border with the short print for Detroit. Oh, what this? Yeah, I don't know if they're jiggling. Could be uh, the table moving or something. The uh, desk. Doc Emmerich. Uh, Noah Syndergaard, Black Border. All right, Phil Rizzuto, short print card, 308. All right, Jeff Bagwell. Jordan Alvarez. All right, a dark tunnel glow in the dark. That's probably got the most glow in the dark film on it. We got Jorge Polanco, Minnesota Twins game used. All right, one to time, congrats. And Max Freed. Oh, a debut to remember. I guess Nick Solak had a nice debut. Oh, his first game was a double header. And then he reached safe in 11 games straight.
Oh, the baseball Brit. Vogelbach, A and G back. Right, another glow in the dark. Uh, monsters in a cave. All right, the chicken on the farm. When European settlers arrived in the New World, ready to go to work on the rich farmlands, their ships routinely contained several chickens that would prove key to the task. Hence produce billions of eggs annually, while other chickens are farmed for food. The average American consumes more than 250 eggs and 100 pounds of poultry each year. So they want to talk about eating that poor chicken. Yeah, when I was in elementary school, my parents had uh, chickens in the backyard. We had four chickens. Eat the brown eggs for breakfast until the neighbors complained and we had to get rid of them. Guess they got a little rowdy. Uh, Keston Hura Mini A and G back. You know, we live in the suburbs, it's not like farm area, but my parents were from Greece. I guess they thought uh, chickens would be a great idea. We could just run to the supermarket down the block. Uh, Walker Bueller. Eduardo Escobar. Uh, Tommy Edmond. A and G back. Oh, peacocks. That sounds awesome. Ooh, we got a black frame. Good luck, guys. These are nice. Yeah, the chickens uh, were really loud. Yeah, they go nuts. But yeah, peacocks, very obnoxious. I've seen them at the petting zoo. I'm scared of the big turkeys, man. Those are some freaky looking animals. All right, guys, black border coming up. I think these are numbered to 25, I guess, depending on what it is. Let's see, we got a mini. All right, Giolito mini. Threw a no-hitter this year. And with that loaded White Sox lineup, just a great compliment to have a starting pitcher like that. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's an autograph. Looks like the W from Walker Bueller, but not sure. Yep, Walker Bueller, LA Dodgers. Big hit, man. 23 out of 25. One of the best pitchers in the game right here.
All right, nice hit for the Dodgers. B.R. Dan. All right, very nice, Brian. For a pitcher, he has really good value, too. I think he's even more popular than Kershaw in the hobby these days. Yeah, nice hit. Very nice. I don't know if he was injured. Yeah, I think he was injured this year, right? Three point four ERA last year, full season. Three point two six ERA, fourteen and four. I think a lot of players are just waiting for next year. Get a full season. This year was fun, but just like a quick sprint to the playoffs. Uh, Citadels and safe holds. Alcazar of Toledo. Yeah, when there's an apocalypse or something, we're heading to the uh, safe holds. Right, Ozzy Albies, Black Border. Right, Hunter Pence, A and G back. Uh, Ripken, yeah, what did we hit in the first case? I know the Ripken token, right? All right, Mookie Betts. All right, Jack Morris. That's a short print, card 343. Yeah, we used to have rabbits too. Bunch of rabbits in the backyard. Uh, Gavin Lux. Right, Manny Machado. A and G back. All right, guys, last box. Good luck. Yeah, my father was all about the farm life, but uh, I had an older sister who was really into animals. She was all about animal rights and the ASPCA. Remember we gave uh, one of my best friends who lived down the block, uh, gave him one of our rabbits. I remember going to his house like a couple months later. 
and the rabbit was like in a bird cage. They fed it, it got all fat, could barely fit in the cage. And they were an Italian family. So I guess rabbit's like a big delicacy with the Italians. And they ended up cooking the rabbit. That's the only intention they had. Uh, Clayton Kershaw. Jumbo box topper. There you go, BR Dan. So when my sister found out when I told her, she uh, she freaked out, man. Sure was a nice Italian dinner. Even in The Sopranos, uh, Artie Bucco cooked up a rabbit. That was a crazy episode. I think the rabbit was eating his cilantro or something, and he... Pulled the shotgun out. Alright guys, good luck. No hotbox. So hotbox is going to be in break six. Um, I don't think I put it up this weekend. Did I put a break? All right, so Allen and Ginter break six, just so you guys have a heads up. It's not tomorrow night. It's not Sunday night. Yeah, I had a bunch of products. I had to throw some other stuff up too. Should be Wednesday, I think. Or Thursday. All right, five nights from now. So what are we, Friday? So. Yeah, Wednesday night. All right, Gavin Lux. All right, we got Friedman, pitching analyst, red jersey. All right, Sack Yen, congrats. There you go, Jeff. All right, red. Ryan McMahon, mini. Red Barrel. All right, Salvador Perez. All right, A&G back. Yeah, it could be a big hit waiting here for us. Love to see one of those thick ones, a booklet or something. I'll take another nice auto. Rip card. All right, under the bed, monsters glow in the dark. Yeah, all the breaks are numbered. Yeah, so that's break six. This is, uh, so break one, two, and three were from the same case. Break four, five, and six. Break seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, everything's always in order. Well, you could always go to the YouTube channel, check out the recaps if you want to see what was hit, uh, you know, in the previous stuff. Yeah, it's a funky spot, the non-baseball. There's some big hits it could get, too. Uh, Ken Jong, see the guy from The Hangover? Uh, nine ways to first. Drop third strike.
And there's a lot, yeah, they get a good amount of cards. It's like three team bags full at least. That's like the pile so far, plus a lot of minis. You got all the glow in the dark stuff. Big bunch of minis. All right, move on. It's a short print mini. Yeah, they had a uh, Rodney Mullen on the set that was last year, at last year or two years ago. Rodney Mullen, Tony Hawk's been in it. Andy McDonald, they've had a lot of famous skateboarders. So Bucky Lassick and then uh then like the guy who's killed it in the X Games for the last ten years. There's Donnie Baseball. More glow in the dark uh, monsters in the ocean. Bananas. <clears throat> All right, we got Joey Gallo, Jersey Relic for the Rangers, uh, B.R. Dan. All right, big power hitter. Joe Torrey. Brendan McKay, debut to remember. And historically, they've done like really well in most of the breaks and on baseball. Was that the first hit this break for them? Yeah, we still got a shot to hit something nice here. But it always seems like they at least get a at least a hit in every break. Not guaranteed, but usually more than that. Ah, uh, Tino Martinez. And then you could learn about stuff too. Shanghai Tower, a whole bunch of reading material. And hold the flashlight up to the glow in the dark cards and shut the lights off. That's pretty cool. All right, Tim Anderson. A and G back. And hopefully the Dobbins uh, cards are worth some money. Seems like he's a good rookie with the Ravens. Uh, Steve Carlton, Black Border. Alright, Tommy Glavin, <clears throat> card number one. Alright, Citadels and Safe Holds, uh, Koningstein Fortress.
All right, Albert Pujols, A and G back. Yeah, it's cool you hit the mini on the Dobbins. I'm sure he's got autographs in the set too. They had a uh, last year. They had some of the basketball rookies. Who was it? Michael Bridges. Or no, two years ago. Michael Bridges and like two other guys. Ooh, we got a rip card it looks like. Yep, yeah, rip it or keep it. Alright, good luck guys. That's nice to hit in the last box. Pudge Rodriguez. Yusei Kikuchi Mini. Alright, let's see what we got. All right, New York Mets, Polar Bear, Pete Alonzo, 34 out of 99, rip card. All right, sweet. Uh, Cascade Red, there you go, Ryan. It's nice, Pete Alonzo on there, too. All right. His power numbers uh, were nice this year. Would have liked to see his average go up a little bit. But still the all-time rookie home run leader. Which is a big accomplishment, man. Yeah, he's a legit, uh, legit player. Can't wait to see him for the next 10 years with my Mets. Yeah, that's a tough one. Alonzo's pretty popular, so you'd get some good value for that unripped. I'm a Mets fan. That would be like a sin to rip it. <laughs> yeah, so maybe a little bias for my Mets. Ah, uh, Booming Cities, Seattle. All right, Luis Robert. Yeah, Mets have done good. They did great in the Bowman break, too. Jackie Bradley Jr. Black. Ponce de Leon. Yeah, see, Mets and Bowman hit the... Uh, Orange the Grom to 25, the Gold Shimmer Burt Batty. Yeah, Mets have had a good night. Lots of box toppers. Then in the other Bowman break, they hit the uh, Francisco Alvarez autograph, which is a nice one. Really big prospect for the Mets. Uh, Miguel Sano mini, A and G back. Hopefully we could get a red back uh, here at the end. That would be really nice. Uh, unripped, usually about a hundred bucks. I would look on eBay to see if any Alonzos are up there. I would say like about a hundred. And then unripped, it could go down to, you know, you know, you might get 10, 15 bucks for it or something like that on uh, ripped, depending on what's on, you know, the inside. Kim. Gould. Fulton Awitz. Yeah, if you rip it, you'll still get, you know, like 10 bucks for the actual Alonzo card if it's ripped. Something like that. Maybe more, maybe less. And Alonzo to 99, whatever that would go for, ripped in the back. And then the inside card could be worth, you know, 20 bucks or could be worth 
you know, a thousand bucks. You don't know what it's going to be. Could be a Luis Robert. Uh, and I would think there's some little mini Luis Robert autos and stuff, but they have one of ones, wood, metal. Could be something really big in there. Or it could be, you know, most of them just one of those super short prints. You just hope you get a good player. Andrew Jones, Black Border. And that's a short print, too. Card 318, Atlanta Braves. Yeah, that sounds about right, Nick. Yeah, I mean, if it's, you know, like a big, if it's a Luis Robert and it's ripped, you know, you'll get more for the card, depending on the player. Alonzo's pretty decent. You get something for it ripped. Hank Aaron, Mini, A and G back. All right, three packs to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, crack the code. Ah, uh, Dakota Hudson. All right, two packs. Alonzo, he had a lot of home runs this year. I mean, as far as the Mets, uh, like Conforto had like a great year. Cano did good. McNeil was on a nice hitting streak. Yeah, Alonzo, he had some big home runs. Definitely uh, didn't do anything to, like, make his value explode, but he didn't, like, you know, kill his value this year. So pretty much stayed the same. Ooh, that's nice for the Cardinals. Black Border Kim. All right, St. Louis. Popular pitching uh, rookie, rookie pitcher. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, his stuff was selling very good. Yeah, let me get a mini top loader. All right, mini sleeve and top loader. That should have some value, the mini black border, Kim. And the Lux, we hit the base rookie. Yeah, definitely some nice ones. All right, guys, last pack. And then we'll do a recap. Uh, Bryce Harper Mini. And ending with some Quartz. Yeah, let's see. Alonzo's average was about 200 most of the year. But he still had the power numbers. Had like a Joey Gallo type year. Let's see. Alonzo, yeah, 211... 211 average, but he's got the bombs. 
Let's see what he had, like 12 homers or something. Hit some big, like, game-winning homers. 13 home runs in 200 at-bats. So he was on pace for, like, 40 homers. Yeah, it's always fun to rip it, you know, but yeah, definitely don't rush to a decision, you know. Yeah, definitely. And I'm a Mets fan. I don't want to ruin this beauty. <laughs> I'm sure the non-Mets fans could care less, but yeah, you don't know what lies in there. Yeah, I ripped one last night. Uh, who'd we get out of there? Ted Williams, like mini card, which was like a forty dollar card or something. So you know, I lost like half his money ripping it. Let's see, Pete Alonzo. It's got to be at least a hundred dollars. All right, so so the box topper triple rip that sold cheap one twenty four ninety nine. One of them sold for one twenty five. Another one for 120 or best offer. All right, triple rip, $202. Yeah, that seems more like it. Yeah, the box topper, the triples are like double the price. Maybe a little more on some. All right, cool. Yeah, the ones worth more money, like Mike Trout. You know, Acuna's probably worth more than a hundred. Or the big rookies. Oh, Luis Robert, I don't see any rip cards. They didn't put him on a rip card. What are they doing? Okay, let's see the most expensive ones that I see. Yeah, there's a bunch of big ones that sold for like 300 or best offer. See a lot of the double rips. Trying to see what an expensive regular one would be. Uh, jumbo rip. The Pete Alonzo Mike Piazza double rip card that sold for two thirty eight. 
That's pretty nice. That was number to 20, but you have two cards inside. And Piazza definitely uh, compliments Alonzo. And that's cool. All the triple rip cards sell them for over 200 bucks. So one in every two cases is like a $200 plus, you know, triple rip card. Yeah, the rip card's some great value, man. All right, Mike Trout rip card, $171. So you get a premier player like Trout, then it goes up. So it does matter who's on the front of the card. Alonzo's good, though. And look like you hit. They have these mini exclusive red autographs that pop up. So somebody pulled that Nico Horner. You know, that sold for 158 He's not even like one of the big rookies. Solid rookie. But you could see the kind of value if you hit like a red ink auto in one of those. That's what you hope to get, man. Something like that in there. Get the Luis Robert, I'd say that's probably big, big bucks. <laughs> yeah, Monty Hall. <laughs> You're confusing them, Phil. All right, guys, uh, let's do a recap. Let's see what rookies we hit. All right, thank you, Philip. All right, guys, Luis Robert, we hit one base for the White Sox. Uh, Gavin Lux for the Dodgers, we hit three. One, two, three. Uh, Alvarez for the Astros, we hit two. And Kim for the Cardinals, there was one base, and we also hit a black border mini. That was really nice, and hence the value uh, on that for sure. Oh, and Gavin Lux, we hit a mini. Nice, uh... Just top load that quick. So Gavin Lux, not a special back or anything, but a nice mini rookie card. Any excuse to use these mini top loaders. I get excited when I buy them. It looks all nice by the supplies. Then I have to wait all year to use them. Alright, Lux. All right, box toppers, box tapas, tapas bar and grill. All right, we got a uh, N43 Jose Barrios. This is the smaller ones, tougher to hit than the big ones. Minnesota Twins, and we got Kershaw for the Dodgers. These are the big full size. 
Pete Alonzo for the Mets. Very nice break for the Mets. And Acuna, Atlanta Braves. Hobby Superstar. Okay, next up. All right, good night, Nikki. All right, yeah, so a whole bunch of cool stuff. All the base card ship, all the minis. Good amount of minis. There's like 100 minis in every break. Okay. All right. Regular Jersey relics. We got Joey Gallo for the Rangers. Uh, for the non baseball spot, Rob Friedman, pitching analyst. All right. Jorge Polanco for the Twins. Matt Carpenter, Carpenter for the Cardinals. Nice, dirty jersey. Uh, Jay Happ for the Yanks. Jeff McNeil for the Mets. All right, Eduardo Rodriguez for the Red Sox. Gene Segura for the Phillies. All right, we had a couple of framed relics. Uh, Bat Relic, Big Poppy, Boston Red Sox. And who's your daddy? Pedro Martinez, mini frame jersey relic. Very nice, Boston. All right, now our three big hits here. All right, we got a one of one printing plate. The Crooklyn Dodgers, Duke Snyder, black printing plate, one of one. Oh, enjoy the fishing, man. That sounds like fun. Last time I went fishing with my old landlord, uh, like a little father-son uh, fishing trip. We went, uh, what was it called? Land casting, sand casting. You put like the uh, PVC in the sand. And then you just put your rod in there and wait for it to move, looking for bass. Didn't hit anything but fun. Yeah, he didn't have a son, so I know I, yeah, I was kind of like his, uh, I don't know, I lived there for 10 years, big Italian guy from uh, Canarsie, like, Used to ride with the Hells Angels, just but a cool dude though. You didn't want to get on his bad side though. He hated all the neighbors. He'd you know be chasing some of the neighbors down. He was crazy. Don't want to leave anything on his lawn or Yeah, he'd be cutting the lawn every day. Crazy with that stuff. So yeah, he didn't have a son, so I guess he enjoyed the fishing trip, man. All right, we got two more hits. All right, what do we do first? All right, so we got the rip card, 34 out of 99, Pete Alonzo, Polar Bear, New York Mets. Boom. All right, and we got a really nice uh, black frame, number 23 out of 25, on-card auto. Walker Bueller, L.A. Dodgers. All right, that's nice, man. He's got a sweet auto, too. 
One of the last nice autographs, man. A lot of the new kids uh, signing it like garbage. All right, Bueller uh, for a pitcher. Great value. He's in L.A. He's fun to watch. And he's got great stuff, man. Let's see, Walker Bueller. Yeah, this year he didn't pitch much, so I guess he was a little injured this year. I know Kershaw was injured. He came back. Kershaw's been looking good. Oh, wow. Somebody got the red ink uh, Walker Bueller auto. 7 out of 10. Pulled that out of one of the mini rip cards. And that sold for 400 or best offer. So probably close to that, the red ink. Oh, uh, the base Bueller is going for like 50, 50. One went for 48 in auction. Another one went for 70 or best offer, 55 or best offer. So yeah, about 50 bucks, probably get a little more. So the black to 25 on 100 bucks plus or something. Yeah, definitely worth a lot more than the base. So nice hit. Who knows, could be even more than 100. Only 25 of them made. I'm sure the base ones is a bunch of those. All right, guys, thanks very much, everybody. Uh, tomorrow night, it's going to be a little different. Uh, no Ginter, there's uh, Optic Baseball. I know people were waiting for the last four boxes of the case. I think there were two hot boxes left. Definitely watch the recap on the last two Optic breaks to see uh, you know, how many hot boxes are left. Yeah, so the last four boxes, uh, we're up to break 40-something on that. Uh, opulence basketball, that's going to be crazy, too. Anything basketball is crazy. Opulence, super high-end. And I think it's like uh, they have like playoff booklets and stuff in there. Memorabilia from the playoffs. It's always big. What else? Bowman Chrome, the other half of the case that we started tonight. That's the last break of tomorrow night. Sunday night, there's two breaks of Optic Baseball. I only have one more case of Optic. We've been through a lot, like 15 cases. That product has been super loaded. Just, yeah, incredible product from Panini this year. No, uh, yeah, no case was bad. They were just all loaded. And then the HTA Choice Bowman Chrome uh, with the three autos per box. Um, I decided to do a full case on that. There's no base card, so it's just autographs. So it's a full uh, 12 box case. I have two of those, break one and break two on Sunday night. What else tomorrow? So Opulence is a full case break. Only two boxes. Last year there were three boxes. So I don't know why they cut it down to two. Oh, Contenders Draft Football break 33. So that's the last four boxes of the Contenders Draft case as well. The end of our 11th case. All right, yeah, so four different products tomorrow. A little football, basketball, a couple of baseball. Nice little mix. Uh, next week, I put some Chronicles baseball up. That's got like 15 or 20 different Panini sets all in one. Really cool. And then more Bowman Chrome next week. Uh, more Ginter. I have a bunch of Ginter. I still have a lot of Stadium Club too and Topps Heritage. So yeah, for a few weeks at least, uh, be throwing up the Ginter and the Stadium Club and Heritage. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it. Time to go to bed now. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, have a great weekend, everybody. Uh, thanks, as always, guys. All right, later, everybody.